Previously, we learned how to create an order by clicking on the checkout button. If you click on it, a function called create order will be uh, called, which we have created and discussed previously. And it's going to take the products and store them inside two, table, two tables. The first one is the orders table, and the second one is the order items table. And that is not enough. We want to get users information so that we know where to send our products. We want to get uh, users information like the uh, username, the uh, user address, uh, along with other um, specific uh, information uh, like the country, the city, uh, address, many, many things. And it differs from uh, one store to another. You can change that uh, later. But in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's get started. So this is a form that is going to uh, take or capture user information. And obviously, we can change this accordingly. I am not going to use all of these data. We just use our relevant and important data. And if you want to use all of these, it's up to you. But I'm going to show you um, the most important parts. And um, uh, for example, what we are going to get from this uh, from this form is the address, the first and last name, the phone, uh, and zip uh, code. And by the way, this template, I have uploaded this template, so you feel free to use it. But we are going to edit a little bit on it because the form, because, because here we have two forms, we only want one form, so I'm going to um, uh, just add all of these into one form so that we can process all of them um, at one time we don't want to um, many we don't want to make many calls to our uh, server we only want uh, one so I'm gonna edit a little bit on it and we are gonna work on it so the first thing that I'm gonna do here inside our um, inside our cart products .php, I am going to disable this button the checkout because we don't want to create an order without the user information so I'm going to delete this so I am going to remove this delete this and instead we want to redirect the user to our um, new uh, route that is going to capture this data to capture their data so here I'm going to change this to something like check out check out products products and we need to create this root inside our web.php, right? So here I'm going to save. Don't forget to save. And now I'm going to get to web.php. And inside our web.php, I am going here to add a code, which is a, um, a root or um, a function that is going to be called when we click on the button. So we are no longer going to use the create order. So forget about this one. What we are going to do instead is that we are going to redirect the user to the new template page, which is check out products. And it's going to uh, fire or call the check out products function that we are going to create shortly. And this root name is going to be check out products. So that is, that's it inside our web.php. I'm going to save also this uh, change that we have created. And finally, we need to get to our products controller.php. So inside our products controller, what I'm going to do is that here I am going to add a function, public and then function. And this function is going to be called check out, check out a product um, or check out products, products, and it should be exactly as we did, uh, as we named it inside our web, don't forget that. And we discussed this a lot in this course. And this function, what is going to do is just redirect the users to the new page that is going to capture their information. So all of what this function is going to do is just return to the view, which is view, which is going to create shortly. And this view is going to be named check out products products and pay attention to the spelling because if you have here 
uh, some errors, some typos, you are going to get an error immediately. So be, be careful here and uh, make sure that you named everything correctly. And this name, this name that you have passed here inside the view function must match the name of the or the name of the file, the view file that we are gonna create now. So you need to copy this, you need to copy this name, and uh, don't forget here to save first. So I'm gonna save, and I'm gonna get to our resources file. So I'm gonna get to our resources uh, folder, and then inside our views folder, I'm gonna create a new file here, and I'm gonna name it check, check out products dot blade blade dot php and make sure again make sure that the uh, the spelling is correct I think this one is products and this is our checkout products that the user is going to see once they uh, click on the checkout so that we, they fill out the form and now we are going to work on this um, on this file now we are going to add this code, the HTML and CSS code inside our uh, checkout products.blade.php. But I, as I told you before, I have modified that folder. I have modified that uh, file, and I uh, I'm going to just paste the code. If you have another code that you want to use or or another template, feel free to do so. Uh, all you're going to do is just. Uh, edit the form uh, method the method will always will always be a post request you only going to, you are only going to change the action to which um, you are going to handle uh, or capture uh, and take the data from the post request so here inside check out products.blade.php i'm going to paste the code and as i told you i modified that code if you want to change it feel free to do so and as you can see here, the form has the uh, email, the first name, last name, address, as well as the zip code. I'm gonna uh, capture these because these are the most important. If you want to capture more data, if you need more data, just add them here. And in the function, you just get them. And uh, make sure that the, the method is, is a post request and the action to the URL that is gonna handle this form is going to be create new order and make sure that this is here because we are going to create this uh, in the next tutorial so make sure that this is here and the submit button here we have a, sub, a submit button that says proceed to uh, payment let's now save and um, test it so now inside our website suppose that we have this cart and we want to check out instead of creating the order if I click on check out it's going to take the user to this form as you can see this form email, first name, uh, middle name, last name, uh, address, zip code, and then proceed to payment. And later in the next tutorial, we are going to handle this so that once the user clicks on proceed to payment, it is going to get all of these data and store them inside our orders uh, table that we have created before along with the cart information. Previously, I have created the orders table which contains the order ID, the date, the status, the delivery date, as well as the price. But we want to add the user's information along with this data. So we need to pass these, we need to create these fields uh, inside this table. And to do so, we need to run the uh, migration command. And if you uh, want to know how, go back to my tutorials because I have discussed that many times in this course. You can uh, check that and create that table. If you want to create a separate table table for that, you can do so, but it's it's going to be a little bit complicated complicated, and you need to have a good knowledge, a strong knowledge in database and how they work and how they communicate uh, with each other. So as you can see here, the orders uh, table contains the order ID, the date, the stats, the, del the delivery date, the price, the first name, the last name, the address, the phone, the zip code, as well as the email. If you want to add more data, more fields, you can do so. Uh, I'm going to leave it open for you guys.
but generally I think these are the most important ones the first name and the last name uh, the address to which you are gonna send the product uh, and the phone number is very important because you want to um, contact or ca your customer service might want to contact that person the customer and uh, the email is very very important because not all customers answer their phone immediately the email would be crucial here and you have to have the email in your orders uh, database or table